What is up boys, it's Just Cause here today with a Heat 5 video. Today, we're going to go over some expectations on launch day. There's only two of them I really have. We are also going to go over uh, questions I have before launch day that I think have not been answered. As far as I know, has not been answered. And uh, some opinions I have, and there might be a little long uh, rant after the video, so you might want to stick tuned for my uh, my big long rant. So expectations on launch day. There are only two expectations I expect: bugs and glitches on release day, and also lobbies crashing. This happened in Heat Three and Heat Four. Uh, pers uh, both happened. Uh, for the last two years. Heat 3, I remember there was a bug at Darlington that I think, uh, I didn't get pat got patched in the first patch. I think there was also a glitch at the Roval. I don't even know if they patched that. There was a glitch at the Roval where you could, uh, where you can cut the first corner. Now you can get a time penalty now if you try to do that. Uh, Heat 4, uh, there's a bug that they, di they didn't fix. Uh, if you go to Indianapolis, into the, uh, into the, where the rescue workers are, as soon as you exit 2, you, you, there's like, a in, like a, a hole right there, and you can seep your car through the hole, and then you can respawn in turn 2. It, it's hilarious. Um... That, that has never been patched, but it's hilarious, though, and I'm happy they didn't patch it. Um, I think there was also another glitch. I'm forgetting that what happened on launch day. Oh, yeah, custom setups. If you had a custom setup, would, uh, red, if you, if you didn't have custom setups on, you could get registered as a custom setup as well, so, you know. And also lobbies crashing. This will happen a lot as everybody's trying to get on the game at the time. Everybody will try and get at the game. So that that's going to be expected for a launch day on Heat 5. Questions I have for Heat 5. Are we still getting challenge rewards? Yes. This is a question I've been wanting to ask. Are we still getting challenge rewards? Last year, uh, we got rewards as of paint schemes. If you did a challenge, you got a race point paint scheme. I think it was only for the first 20 challenges that were in the game. So, any of the DLC challenges you got, you, you wouldn't unlock a scheme, but you would unlock schemes in the first 20. Um, and as far as I know, I don't think that's happening it's not been answered but I also think nobody has asked that question if we'll, we'll get challenge rewards in heat 5 uh, or we're just going to get another lame video like we did in heat 3 heat 2 and evolution so you know it's it, it's a questionable at this point I should say it's very questionable but you know I, ho I hope they kept it in. I, I really hope they did. Okay. Is Xfinity and Trucks getting more paint schemes? Is Xfinity and Trucks getting more paint schemes? I did research on this. I went through every NASCAR Heat game. And here we go. This is the data from every single NASCAR Heat game. And how many paint schemes we got including playoff schemes, throwbacks, and, of course, every scheme in the game. The total schemes, like, look at here. Heat 3. Heat 4, I don't know what they were doing. 338 schemes? That is a massive dip from 414. Like, what were you thinking? Please, tell me. 29 out of 33 throwbacks, they missed, like, I understand a couple of them because they always have, uh, 
500 drivers that only race the 500 or Brendan Gone, which I can I don't mind Brendan Gone. I actually like Brendan Gone. But they have like people this year like Chad Finchel. Why can't they be like an extra driver? Why can't you have all the full-time drivers racing? Uh what like why? You you have Chad Fincham in the game that's only going to make one cup start in that 49. You're going to have Justin Haley, who's only going to make one start in the 16 all season. You're not going to put a 77 car in the game. So, why? Just why? That's all I got to ask. Just why? Um, but, yeah, 29 out of 33 throw. Three playoff schemes. And I asked them about this on their Discord. Let me go pull it up. Let me go pull it up, actually. Hold on. Okay, this is this is the thing on Discord, okay? So, this was my question right up here. Question, why did we not get playoff schemes for all three series? I had to look it up because it was a long-ass time ago. It was, like, February, and it's, like, July when I'm recording this. But... Uh, here was the response. The reason for the missing playoff schemes was a bit of a twofer. We felt like... We felt it took up a lot of valuable actual DLC space. And ultimately they didn't display as AI in races. We do plan to implement more if they're not existing schemes in the next iteration games. However... So basically, I don't know. I don't know if I should believe that. Like, you, you, you left out a lot of schemes. And I mean, you left out a lot of nice playoff schemes. And what was this? We felt like it took a lot of valuable, valuable actual DLC space. Make another DLC. I would gradually pay $20 or $10 on whatever DLC it is to go and buy it. I don't care. Give me, just give me the paint schemes I want. Put, cause here's the thing, and this is what makes me a little bit teat. Is when laziness comes into play. What the hell has been going on with Xfinity and Truck? That's my question. Uh, 52 schemes this season, or this year. 68 in the first game, 80 in the second game. You're going to be like, oh, but the Trucks had a little slight peak. That was only because Johnny Sauter was added to the game. You know how many schemes Johnny Sauter got? 10. Ten. He got ten schemes. I think he got ten schemes. I, uh, ten or twelve. Ten or twelve. Really? Like, seriously. And then look look at the playoff scheme. Zero. Zero. Three. Twenty-nine throw. Seven out of eighteen throwbacks. They missed a whole bunch of throwbacks this year. And hold on. Let me, let me, let me, uh, let me pull them up. I have links down here. For, let, let's pull up. Let's pull up the throwbacks they missed. Let's just pull those up. So they got that Cole Custer one. Garrett Smithley, Starlington throw. They had Dar Garrett Smithley in the game. Couldn't add this in. Oh, uh, that's not a throwback. They had this throwback in the game. Tyler Reddick's throwback. That is a great throw. Why is it not in the game? Why wasn't it put in the game? I don't understand. This was sexy. This was nice. Oh, but this was B.J. McLeod, though, so I guess it's understandable. A little bit understandable. Uh, let's see, that's, this scheme was added. This scheme wasn't, but it's understandable. It's great golding. Oh, wait, look at this. Oh, wait, great golding, I think, drove the L.A. anyway. Is that, am I right? Hold on, am I tripping? I got a fact check, hold on. Okay, after uh, fact-checking, Gray Galding was in the game, and he was also full-time in Xfinity Series. So, now now I wonder why wasn't this scheme added into the game. 
this game wasn't added and I was pissed. You added Dale Jr. in Heat 3. You couldn't add Dale Jr. in this one? Look at this. I would definitely want another Dale Jr. scheme in the game. Hell yeah. This scheme wasn't added, and this is awesome. This scheme was added. There was no 12 in the game, so... You know, who was Stephen Light? Was Stephen Light in the 15 or 01? In Heat 4. Was Stephen Light in the 15 or 01? I think he might have been the 01. Because jo I think Joe Nemechek. I think Nemechek was in the 15. That's what I think. I think Nemechek was in the 15. If I'm mistaken. Let, let me fact check again. Hold on. Be right back. Okay, after fact checking. Uh, I, I think uh, Steven Light was in the 01. So... I think he was, at least. I didn't really fact check. I just went through Jaskies and see what cars. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see later. I might be outraged later if I find out. Okay. This scheme wasn't added. Seriously. Boys. What were we thinking? This is a Grego throwback. Everybody knows Buddy Baker. This is... This is nice. Why wasn't this added in the game? Like... I can go on and on. This wasn't even added to the game. It was honoring Roger Penske. Like, seriously, look at this. Look at this. Like, seriously. Guys. 704. You're missing opportunities. Here. We're, you're missing opportunity. Y'all are missing opportunity after opportunity. Seriously, guys. Look, 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 just look at the facts. That's it. For Cup, there should at least be over 350, close to 400. At minimum, 350. 350 should be the minimum for Cup. For Xfinity, the minimum should be 200. The minimum. The minimum for trucks should be 150. This is laziness. This is lazy, and one of my questions literally down below, because I've been wondering, is 704 getting lazy? And that was just a display of laziness. Wanted more value in the DLC? Who doesn't want playoff cars? You're, who doesn't? I want my throwbacks, I want my playoff cars, and I want the uh, s certain cars from the regular season. Or actually maybe put in all of them. I don't really care. Just put in the ones I want. Or what people want. And it's fine. We all wanted playoff schemes. Didn't give us playoff schemes. We all we all wanted throwbacks. You only gave us seven throwbacks for Xfinity. Like, come on. There should be at least almost every car. Except for the couple. Couple of uh, cars. That should have throwbacks. Seriously. Guys, step step up your game. Indy Road Course, next question. Uh, they have not confirmed or denied. As far as I know, they have not confirmed or denied. I might need somebody to uh, fact check for me. Because I've, I haven't heard them confirm or deny Indy Road Course. It would be nice. It would be nice to have an Indy Road Course, but like I said, I, I can't confirm or deny if it's going to be in the game. So, you know, I'd actually love Indy Road Course since, um, since, you know, uh, so I'm trying to fit words together. Since, you know, we're going to have all three series once again. Uh, sharing racetracks, like, you know, like, we're at, like, we had last year where Mid-Ohio and Mid-Ohio can be raced by all three series, or Canadian Tire can be raced by all three series. We had that last year, and I loved it. I hope they do it with the Indy Road Course, if we have Indy Road Course in the game, because that would be fun right there. Okay, next question that I have. Test mode and multiplayer difference. How big, or is there any difference 
between test mode and multiplayer feel. Now, that's going to be a question I'm going to have. Because I'm in eSpark, and I also race, like, three other leagues. And, you know, test mode's going to be very important for me, especially building custom setups this year. Uh, is it going to have any difference from multiplayer? Because here's the thing. Uh, what, for the last couple of years, is I think... Hold on. Okay, we're good. For the last couple of years, we, uh... There's been a difference between single player, which was where we usually practice to get custom setups, and multiplayer. Let me move up my mic real quick. Between single player and multiplayer. Now, single player, there's a big difference. Because single player makes you a little bit more faster than you should be. Which I'm kind of fine on that. Well, not fine with building sets, so I'm kind of fine with like racing against AI but it makes you kind of faster it's very different feel from multiplayer so the question really is is there going to be a big difference will test mode actually matter or will it not because of the feel of multiplayer and test mode that's all the questions you should be asking if you're going to be building custom setups like me or you're going to have to be racing leagues in practice like me you're going to have to the next two questions are basically combined questions. Which tracks are the best in-game and the worst in-game? Let's go over the best. The best games, or not best games, but the best tracks in the game this year, Bristol and Dega and the Night Daytona. The Night Daytona and both Talladegas, bro, you can carry speed. I mean, absolutely carry speed. Like, you can go flying, my guy, down those two tracks. And Bristol, they perf they made it perfect this year. Bristol and Heat 3 and Heat 2 are horrible. Because, you know, the glitch in the middle of the track that just sent you. This year, they made Bristol magnificent. And uh, I liked it. You know, I liked it. So, those were the best three tracks for me. Uh, honorable mentions probably will go to, uh, uh, I gotta think of an honorable mention. Uh, what other checks did I like this year? Um, Michigan. I love Michigan this year. Michigan was very good. Um, and Auto Club, because that was also pretty good, too. Uh, worst tracks in the game. There was a lot of worst tracks. Sonoma's carousel was messed up. The Roval felt too narrow. Um, Martinsville without stability was complete hell. Uh, Martinsville without stability, like Heat 2 and Heat 3, were actually pretty good. Were actually pretty decent. This year, Martinsville without stability is just complete horrible. It's complete trash. Straight up trash. Um... Let's see. What other tracks? Every mile and a half I have an issue with. Because every mile and a half feels like a mini Daytona. And I have an issue with that. Chicagoland is about the only mile and a half I think you can actually pull away from somebody. Every other track, everybody's got draft until the first cycle of pit stops. Then everybody, and that's the only time people can see if they can pull away or like catch up. So, you know, that's kind of, like, bullshit right there. Uh, track, like, every mile and a half, races like a mini Daytona, and it's kind of, it's kind of sucks, because, you know, it's, you know, I would actually like to see who wins on speed, not by whoever's drafting. So, just my opinion. So I got a problem with about a lot of the a lot of the tracks in the game, but Bristol, uh, Bristol, Talladega, Daytona, and I also throw in Watkins Glen because Watkins Glen was pretty good this year. Road America was pretty good this year. Um, about lot most of the road courses. Canadian Tire was good. Gateway, uh, that was awful. Darlington still has the glitch off. Two. 
or has like a major bump glitch into or exiting to that just sends your car uh apron like come on Darlington you should be able to run the apron this year like come on you you gotta fix the apron bullshit because here's the thing Darlington you should be able to get a little help running the apron okay this game you can't run the apron Darlington's so narrow just fix Darlington apron glitch. Just that's the only glitch I want fixed at any track is just the apron glitch at Darlington. Okay, straight up. Okay, the okay next. I already answered this question. I'm thinking 704 is getting a little lazy. You know they they're getting a little lazy on us, uh, with especially with paint schemes and DLC. DLC should have a hundred plus schemes. 50 should at least go to cup. 25, 25 split between trucks and Xfinity. That's the deal. That's what you should do. Okay? Just throwing it out there. That's why we love... This is why Heat 2 DLCs were the best DLCs in the game. Or in, in Heat. Ever. Because you got 100 plus schemes. I mean, you got a hundred plus schemes in those paid packs. And even the free Toyota packs that they had were pretty good. So, hey, I don't know. DLC legend schemes. Will we get, like, DLC schemes for, like, Tony Stewart or Jeff Gordon? I doubt it. <laughs> I wanted to just put this in to say I doubt it. Because you were already getting three Tony Stewart schemes, even though I think Tony Stewart should get five. His championship car, his final ride car, his final win. Uh, 2000. It, there should be at least be a Mobile One car in there somewhere. And a Bass Pro Shops car for Tony. Jeff Gordon kind of feels dry with only one paint scheme. I'm sorry. Jeff Gordon should have a, like, a Rainbow Warrior or a DuPont Flames from, like, 2001. Or even a 2013 Drive Then Hunger car. Or just something. Just something. You gotta add more schemes to Gordon. There should at least be five schemes for every le Legend cover of the game. Okay? There at least should be five. Okay, just saying. The final win, championship or win car. Uh, Daytona, championship or 500, or you can do both. And then a couple random cars that people like. Okay, that that should be a rule for legend schemes going forward. Okay, just saying. More dirt tracks. Are we getting more dirt tracks in Heat Five for uh for dirt dirt series? Cause I'm I'm I I don't think so. Cause it's getting a little bland. It's getting a little bland running Jefferson twice and having barely any variety of dirt tracks to be running in the game for dirt series so please please for for heat five or heat six or at least for heat six give us a couple new tracks give us uh, like a fictional dirt i don't care if it's like a fictional dirt uh refrigerator i don't care just give us something give us give us something please because, you know, the Dirt Series is getting a little bland. with Plus, only having one paint scheme per car is getting a little bland. Only running at the same tracks over and over again is getting bland. You know, it's, it's kind of like... Because, you know, in the Cup Series, especially now, but back in, like, Heat 3 and Heat 2, there was, like, multiple variety. Back in Heat 3, when we first got introduced to the Dirt Series, it was, was kind of fun, and then Heat 4, it kind of got a little stale and bland because, you know, we're running the same tracks again. So, hey, that's just me talking. Just me talking. Last question. More DLC questions. Can we get, are we getting more DLCs? Can we get, uh, are we getting the 2021 DLC, if that will ever come out? Um, when the season's over, are we getting DLCs put in, like, daytime Darlington, like, because of, uh, Corona? I don't think so, really. I really don't think we are. Which sucks. Like, 
I don't think we're going to be getting any DLCs or or anything. We're we're probably only going to get like 60 cars in the DLC this season or this year. I keep saying season, but you know, year. This year we're only going to be getting like probably 60 to 70 schemes and like 90% of it's going to be cup and they said they're going to be like I think they said something about like rotation, like one DLC is going to be Xfinity, and then next DLC will just have trucks, which just kind of sucks, so, you know, I think that's what they said, um, like I said, I don't know, but, hey, it, it, this sucks, okay, um, that's going to be it for, uh, the questions I have, uh, I think I've ranted enough about how much I think 704 has gotten a little lazy on us. Um, uh, like I said, if you refer back to the paint scheme list I showed y'all, it's horrible. I mean, it's horrible. Horrible. Like, you know, I want more paint schemes. I want every DLC to have over 100 or 100 paint schemes. Cup should at least have 350. 350 at the lowest. 350 schemes at the minimum. Uh, Xfinity should have 200 at the minimum. And trucks should have like 150 at the minimum. Okay. So, it's officially hype. It's officially hype. We are officially about six days as of the recording of this video. Until Heat 5 comes out. I have it already pre-ordered, you know. Like I said, I will be streaming. When on launch day, I will be streaming. Twitch.tv slash, uh, slash Just Cause 04. I might get that changed. I'm going to put a link to it down in the description if y'all want to see that. I will also, uh, also in the upcoming weeks to Heat 5, I will be doing reviews on Heat 4, Heat 3, and Heat 2. I already did Heat 2 review, but we'll be doing another one. But hey, we're gonna be. We're, this is gonna be the lead up. This is the lead up to uh, to Heat 5. I would do Heat Evolution, but for some reason, he, my Heat Evolution disc, my Xbox is like refusing to read the disc. So I I can't do Heat Evolution. I might have to get a new one just because I haven't played it for a while. So, so, that's going to be the schedule I will be uploading on the channel. Heat 4 review, Heat 3, and Heat 2. I'll give you my scores and ratings on it. So, that's going to be schedule. Um, and I think this is going to be ending the video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and a comment. Uh, comment on what, 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 what questions you have as I just stuttered like hell. Uh, what questions do you have? Uh, type in the uh, description. Like, if you have a question, I'll probably answer and give you my opinion on it. I'm, I'll be happy to respond to comments. Uh, leave a like and also subscribe for more. Or uh, I'm hoping to hit a hundred soon, or not even a hundred, just fifty. We're currently sitting at thirty-five subs. I would love to hit fifty before the end of July. That is going to be the goal here. So if we can hit 50 by July, by the end of July, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. So thank you all for watching. It's Just Cause signing out. Peace.